I remember when um, my son Nico was about 10 years old and we went on a family cruise. While we were on the ship, I asked um, what would happen if, let's just say the ship went down and um, you, you had to save either your mother, or save me, or uh, your video game system because you only had one free hand and the other one you were saving yourself. And so Nico actually took the time to think about what he would do. I knew in that moment that he had a problem. After about a minute or so, he said, I would save you. And my response to him was, that's not true because if you really truly wanted to save me, then you would have immediately responded with, I would save you. And so I told him, I said, you know, you can replace a video game system but you can't replace your mother. And so at that point, I knew that we were in for uh, a long haul and that um, he was gonna be in desperate need of help at some point. Nico! I know you hear me, Nico. Dinner is ready. Mom, I'm in the middle of an online game right now. Just leave my plate outside the door. I'll eat later. Wow. This doesn't make any sense. Really? Really? Come on now. You know what? This just lets me know that you have a problem. A true video game problem. I don't know what steps there are to help cure this addiction. Lord Jesus, please help me find a cure for my son. Ah, oh, man, I really gotta take a piss. But I'm in a little streaming and playing video games. What am I supposed to do? Oh, an empty bottle. This will do nicely. Man, I really had to go, didn't I? <laughs> now to just wash my hands with some good old-fashioned hand sanitizer. Nico, it's time to go to church. Your dad and I will meet you there. Sure. My parents know that I'm a gamer. But I don't have time for church. The Let's Play tournament is starting soon and I have to be ready. Open the door, Nico. It's Dad. Not a good time, Dad. I'm busy right now. Boy, you better open up this door. This room. It looks like who did it in what floor? What's wrong with you, man? Look at this place. It looks like a pig's dying here. All you do is play video games all day. No wonder you can't get your work done at college. Now I can see why. You haven't been going to class. Son, you have a video game addiction and you need some treatment. I know you're a gamer, but you gotta stop playing all these video games. I don't have a video game problem. I'm not addicted or anything. I'm just a gamer. Lots of my friends are gamers. Lord, please help my son. You know, I don't know what the big deal is. But the current pandemic that's going on right now, it's the best time to be a gamer. Staying indoors is the perfect time to get acquainted with some old classic video games like Super Smash Brothers. You know, it's kind of funny how the Who, who at some point said that having a video game addiction would be one of those classifications are now saying the complete opposite. It's ironic. Well, at the same time, I do think they don't know what they're talking about. You know, adults are stupid.
friends. This is Daniel Talley, the note self got coming at you. Hope everyone is doing well. No doubt our buddy Nico loves his video games, but it seems to be at the exclusion of everything and everyone else. One thing is perfectly clear. Nico is addicted to video games. Video game addiction is like any other addiction. Pornography, alcohol, drugs, gambling, and even sex. They all consume you and greatly impact your life and oftentimes the lives of those that are around you. To be clear, Video game addiction is in the minor league when compared to these other addictions. But they all have something in common. They all take the focus off of God. It has been said that whatever you spend the majority of your time doing, focusing on, or putting energy into, that thing or activity becomes your God or idol. God is not pleased. You shall have no other gods before me. Exodus chapter 20 verse 3. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind, and with all your strength. Mark chapter 12, verse 30. And he is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning of the firstborn from among the dead, so that in everything he might have the supremacy. Colossians chapter 1, verse 18. God is pretty clear. We are to put nothing before him. The scriptures are at odds with any and all addictions. Now, with that being said, in general, there's nothing wrong with playing video games. It's just when we take it to the extreme, that's when it becomes a problem. Here's some things we can do to cure video game addiction. First, you have to acknowledge that you have a problem. You can't fix the problem if you don't think the problem exists. Ask God for help. He's your daddy. He wants to help you. Prayer definitely works. Ask others to pray for you. Video game addiction is a tough one to beat. Limit the time you spend on video games. Set a schedule of when you can play video games and begin to wean yourself off. Invest in another hobby. Anything exercise related is a good thing because it gives you an opportunity to meet new people. Turn it off. Give the gaming equipment a curfew. At a certain time, simply turn everything off and put it away. Join a help group, Computer Gaming Addicts Anonymous helps to support those who have video game addictions. I will leave the contact information on the description page. By the way, if you know anybody who has successfully cured themselves from video game addiction, leave a comment and let us know how they did it. Nico, have you made video games your god? Huh? Who said that? Nico, you have put video games above everyone and everything, including me, and I am not pleased. Lord, I know I'm going to need some help. Please help me. I know I can do better. My parents gave me this pamphlet, Steps to Cure Video Game Addiction. I think it's about time I sit down and read it. It's been a week since I read that pamphlet that my parents gave me, Steps to Cure Video Game Addiction. I realize now that video games were negatively impacting the relationships around me involving my friends and my family. It was also impacting my hygiene in a negative way. You saw where I was taking a piss inside of a bottle, right? <laughs> oh boy, that was probably one of the worst moments of my life at that point. Time to stop. I was barely doing my work in college, mainly because I was focused on my video games. You all saw how junky my room was, right? <laughs> I also got irritable and angry whenever things got in the way of me and my video games. This included church and God. I had made video games my idol, and they had ended up becoming my God. My relationship with God was put to the test. I even put him on the back burner. For that, I am ashamed. But I'm on the road to recovery. I know now that God should always be first. I started limiting how much time I spend playing video games on a daily basis. This would usually depend on what I'd have to do for that day, whether it's two hours or half an hour. I turn my phone off at 10 p.m. and put my video game equipment after every playing session. 
The cool thing about limiting my video game time is that I get to enjoy my other hobby, golfing, and I also get to spend more time with friends. I've also made more friends in the process. My involvement with the Video Game Anonymous group has also been helpful. This form of counseling helps you see that there are others out there who share your problem. Video game addicts, you can still be a gamer without letting it control your life, because if you let it control your life, it's game over, man. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button, and subscribe, and make sure to click on the bell to be notified of any future videos on this channel. If you never want to miss another episode of Note to Self, show me some love and hit the subscribe button. And remember, God loves you and he only wants to have a better relationship with you. Until next time, my brothers and sisters, peace. What is this? This room is atrocious. It's a mess. Come on now, you can do better than this. It is an absolute mess in here. What are you doing? Come on. What is this? Oh, this better not be what I think it is. Ugh! That's just nasty. Come on now, this room is a mess. Your life is a mess. You need some help. And lots of it for this video game addiction. Come on now, get it together.